Mike, you obviously played in that humiliating big kind of, uh, championship game in Salt Hill last year. What will the team have learned from that and how can they get over that season? Uh, should have learned a lot, you know, uh, Mayo destroyed us in terms of intensity that day and, and composure and just a raw aggression to actually kill us, you know, and uh, we learned a lot even last year after that game for, for what went on after us in terms of the uh, three or four qualifier games. And uh, Roll forward 12 months later, you know, Galway had two championship matches under their belt, so you know, they have a, got a good bit of confidence from that. There was no real intensity in either of those games. They'll know that to have any chance of, of challenging Mayo, they're going to have to be right up there in terms of intensity on Sunday. And you'd expect, you know yourself, after, after getting a clip from your team, the, the least you can do when you go back to play them again is really you know, try your hardest. And you know, I'd be really hopeful that Galway will, 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 will bring a, a high level of intensity and we'll see what Mayo will bring. Talk to us a little bit about the rivalry between Mayo and Galway. You know, it, it, it's intense. But it, it was mentioned on the on the road show here tonight that it's kind of a friendly rivalry. Is that the truth? It is uh, probably more so for the, when the lads were playing. Um, you know, it, it's, it's changed now. There's such a level of preparation that goes into it, and, and like, I, I for, for the 11 or 12 years that I played with Galway, I, we played Mayo. I think nine or nine years. Um, so like. You know, the more often you're playing someone, the more familiar you get. Sometimes the more aggravated it can be. You know, um, I'd have great respect for the Mayo players, but they, like, the lads spoke about going for a point with them afterwards. Like, if you lost to Mayo, the last thing you want to do is go for a point with, with one of the lads off them, and vice versa, I'd imagine. There's a good intensity there. Is it on the level that you have maybe with, um, with our man Tyrone? You know, probably not. But um, that's probably because, you know, not too long ago you had the boys going for points after a match. So, you know, there's no real deep-rooted uh, hatred there.